Today's video is brought to you by Vincero. Hey brother! Jay, lots of Toy Story characters have last names. Andy Davis, Sid Phillips, Buzz Lightyear, Bo Peep, Barbara Millicent Roberts. Yeah, turns out that's Barbie's full name. Barbara Millicent Roberts from Wisconsin. But somehow over the course of four movies, we have never been given the last name to the main character. Woody. To us, this just didn't seem to add up. So we went on a quest to try to figure out what the true last name could possibly be, thinking that it must just be tucked away, hidden somewhere on like a random piece of memorabilia or deep inside of a video game. And guys, I am happy to report, we totally found it. Guys, before we dive on in, I wanna give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Vincero. Vincero has been a longtime supporter of the show here at Super Carlin Brothers, and today I am excited to show off one of their newest products. Today I am wearing their Chrono S in the Copper Cognac Coloration. Guys, I have to tell you that the Copper is way different from anything else I have ever worn, but I have been getting compliments on it nonstop. It is just super cool. It wears really nicely dressed up or dressed down. Vincero makes watches for both men and women, and with the holidays just right around the corner, it makes an absolutely fantastic gift. And as a bonus, you can get 15% off your entire order by going to vincerowatches.com slash SCB and just use promo code SCB at checkout. The quality of these watches is incredible. They're all made of surgical grade stainless steel and a sapphire coated front glass to prevent scratching. I wear mine every single day and it is still in perfect condition. And let's face it, I'm a pretty careless person. Again, guys, get yours today with an extra 15% off by going to vincerowatches.com slash SCB, promo code SCB at checkout, and plus there's free worldwide shipping on every order. Hope you guys check it out. All of the information is in the description down below. Back to Woody. It turns out finding his last name really wasn't that big of a deal at all, but that only ended up being like the very beginning of this journey that we went on. Before we really dived into any crazy amount of research though, we were just sort of going through all the obvious stuff that it could possibly be. Like, was the answer just hiding in plain sight? Like, is it possible his last name is literally Zround Up? Literally, Woody Zround Up. First name Woody, last name Zround Up. Unfortunately, and I'm not totally sure here, but I don't think you can start a last name with an apostrophe. No, I'm not sure. The other thing we considered is that maybe Woody is just actually his last name. Like, after all, they do call him Sheriff Woody. Sheriff Woody. Normally, if you're addressing somebody in this fashion with their title first, you're referring to them like by the last name. For example, I would be Sheriff Carlin, not Sheriff Ben. Although Sheriff Ben does have a pretty nice ring to it. Although if that were so, then we would just have to try and figure out what his first name is. But then there was also just the consideration that like maybe Woody just doesn't have a last name. Like not all toys need last names. I mean, you've got like Ham and Rex, for example. Although wait, no, if you think about it though, like is Rex actually his last name? Is his first name Tyrannosaurus? Tie for short? I like it. Also, it just kind of looks like a tie, doesn't he? But no, it turns out that Woody's last name is one of the rare few things that Pixar themselves have just come out and confirmed. But for some reason, it seems like so many people, including us who like study Pixar for a living, had no idea about. But going back to 2009, none other than Pixar Brain Trust member Lee Unkrich tweeted the following. Woody's actual full name is Woody Pride and has been since the earliest days of developing the original Toy Story. This tweet only has 194 retweets and 400 likes. Like, how does that happen? I mean, we're talking about like Woody here, like one of the most popular characters of the modern age. How did this just go so overlooked? I guess if we go back to when this tweet was actually posted in 2009, there are like two major things at play. For one, Toy Story 3 still wouldn't come out for another year, meaning that at this point in time, the Toy Story franchise only consisted of two basically perfect movies. So understandable, the hype would have been considerably less. And also just the fact that Twitter itself, while it was on the rise at that point in time, was only three years old and not the social phenomenon that it is today. By the way, 
follow me on Twitter. So what that means is that a video that like when we went into write, I fully expected to be a straight up theory. Like we were going to have to dig through all the details, find anything that kind of makes sense and make like our best possible argument and still not know whether or not it's true. But then weirdly, the kind of interesting thing about it is that just knowing the answer also just invites like its own hosts of questions. Like, why is his last name Pride? Like, why was this such a relevant characteristic that it was a part of the character since like the very beginning? It would have to mean that it was, you know, somehow integral to his character, right? But if that's the case, then why was it never revealed to us, the audience on screen? It's never spoken out loud or listed in the credits. Like the only source we have is this one decade old tweet. Why even have a last name if you're not gonna tell us what it is? That is where our hunt begins. Why was Pride chosen as his last name? As far as the character is concerned and how he behaves, especially in the first movie, Pride is a pretty fitting name for him. Woody is a very proud character. He takes pride in the fact that he is Andy's favorite toy, that he runs the room. It like gives him a sense of purpose. But it's also a bit of a double-edged sword for Woody. After Andy gets Buzz and he's his new favorite toy, Woody is too proud to admit it and goes to pretty drastic measures to try to like rectify the situation. In fact, it's even more fitting when you take into consideration that the early drafts of Toy Story had Woody going so much further with this that early test audiences didn't think the character was even redeemable by the end of the movie. It's actually super interesting. If you'd like to see the full story about how Woody was almost the villain of Toy Story, just click the card. So character wise, it is a pretty fitting name, but is there also any kind of like real world inspiration for it? The first thing we decided to look into to is if there were any actual cowboys, real or fictional, that Woody could have been based off of. Maybe it was an homage to like another real person with the same last name that just wouldn't be as well known to us, the modern audience. And believe it or not, just searching the words Cowboy and Pride yielded some pretty interesting results. Cowboy Pride is actually a song by Michael Martin Murphy, or M Cubed as I would call him. M Cubed, as it turns out, is a popular country music Western artist who has six golden albums and several Grammy nominations. And so we thought things were kind of coming together nicely because the song came out in 1990 and that is the same year Toy Story went into production. Let me just read you some of the lyrics. You know our range is getting smaller. Here you're all busted up inside. But it ain't the Broncos that'll kill ya. It's just the danged old cowboy pride. Cowboy pride can always get a man through, but Cowboy Pride will make a fool of you. Doesn't that just feel exactly right for this story? Like Buzz shows up in Andy's room and all of a sudden Woody's range gets smaller. And Woody feels all busted up, just like the guy in the song. But in the end, of course, it's not Buzz who's the problem, but he himself is his own worst enemy. And also Sid. <laughs> And yet here is where we hit a snag. Sure that we were on the right track. Get it because Cowboy Pride is a song and songs are frequently referred to as a track on an album. With his last name, I started to look into the origin of his first name. Woody's first name is in fact inspired by a real life person by the name of Woody Strode. An actor and athlete famous for his time in the NFL, as well as for playing a cowboy in many Western films. However, the issue with this little particular bit of history as it relates to everything else is that Woody was not always going to be a cowboy. Buzz and Woody actually went through many changes on their way to becoming the two characters that we know and love today. Buzz, for example, did not even start off as a space ranger or even all that of a modern toy. He was actually going to go by the name of Tinny and would have resembled the character of the same name from the early Pixar short, Tin Toy, which also happened to include like the creepiest baby ever. <laughs> The problem was Tinny didn't really offer much in the way of being Andy's like new favorite toy because quite frankly, he was kind of boring. Although ultimately he does end up playing a huge role in Toy Story 4, right here. I mean, I don't have to tell you, but it would not have been the same story without him. So they began migrating the character that would ultimately become Buzz Lightyear to a space ranger where he started off as Tempest from Morph. From there he became Lunar Larry and then finally 
Buzz Lightyear, who fortunately has a super easy self-explanatory name. Buzz comes from Buzz Aldrin from the Apollo 11 mission and was the second man to walk on the moon, and light years are a measure of distance in space. Woody, on the other hand, didn't go through quite as many changes, but was originally going to be a wooden ventriloquist doll. And as the story goes, he got his name of Woody because the ventriloquist dummy was made of wood. They ultimately ended up opting away from this particular idea though because at the time ventriloquist dummies started being like highly associated with the horror genre and it was just kind of creepy because Toy Story totally never got creepy at any point in time and they ended up keeping that idea in their back pocket for like another 24 years anyway he is terrifying but back to our question though was Woody named Woody before he was deemed a cowboy because if he was it doesn't really seem like there would have been any kind of cowboy influence on the name at all finding this particular information though is pretty tough because lots of sources will say that after they decided to make him a cowboy he retained the name Woody which was then serving as a nod to Woody Strode but then we have also found another report that suggests that his original name as the ventriloquist dummy was actually going to be Larry. But we can't actually find anything else that happens to back that up, and it would seem kind of weird when you consider that one of the names that they chose for the original Buzz Lightyear was Lunar Larry. It sounds to me like someone just really wanted a Larry to make an appearance. I bet it was Larry. In the end though, I think that our answer lies with the first piece of information that led us down this rabbit hole to begin with. That tweet from Lee Unkrich. Woody's full name and has been since the very beginning is Woody Pride. It says it right there, like from the beginning, which to me means that Woody Pride was his name even before he was ever a cowboy. Which to me means that Pride originally was supposed to be the last name of a character that sort of exemplifies the duality of the word. It's both the way that he values being like the leader in the room and Andy's favorite toy, but also the thing that came with stubbornness and arrogance and led to him ultimately trying to do something awful to another toy just to maintain his position. After switching to the cowboy model, the name Woody did stick and became a reference to Woody Strode, but in the beginning, his name was created as a reference to what he was made of. So our song from good old M Cubed is a crazy coincidence, but probably has nothing at all to do with the character. Although, would you believe it that another one of his famous songs, Route 66, was actually covered by John Mayer and used for the movie Cars? Classic M Cubed. Guys, for my question of the day, what do you think? What was the original inspiration for Woody's name? Was it what he was made out of or the cowboy character? Also, did you know his last name prior to this video? Leave all your thoughts in the title section down below. Two final quick announcements. Don't forget you can get 15% off your entire order at Vincero Watches by going to vincerowatches.com slash SCB, promo code SCB at checkout. The link to that is in the description down below. Also tomorrow we have huge Patreon news coming on this channel channel. We're going to be doing a live stream from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be releasing some cool new levels as well as some awesome special offers and doing some giveaways along the way. Be sure to tune in. Again, link is in the description down below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like some more Toy Story action from us, you can check out this video right here to find out more about how Woody was almost a villain. Or if you want to see our complete spoiler review of Toy Story 4, you can check out this video right right here. But Jay, that's all I've got for you today, man. I will see you on Tuesday.